Right on time. Perfect. Did we learn anything from the criminals? <laughs> we'll know any moment now. I wonder what Candace did. Or actually, I, I don't wonder. Paimon's been wondering. You seem to know Candace pretty well. Have you been friends for a long time? We've known each other for some time now. She's a pretty interesting person. Even though she's an extremely strong warrior, she never misuses her powers against others. Oh, Paimon knows what you mean. Like a lot of martial artists say, never take the fight outside the ring. Yep, very true. Yep, I guess you can put it that way. It takes strong convictions to be as dedicated as she is and shoulder that kind of responsibility. Us mercs, on the other hand, yep. we pretty much live from one day to the next. And want to fight a lot. Well, Paimon thinks you're great, too. Yeah, you are, Dia. Really? Thanks for that. Oh, Sido! Uh-oh. Oh, Sido's <laughs> here, and he's pretty early, too. <laughs> yes, I was here yesterday to help out a little. Ooh, hi, Sido. How are you doing? It's good to see you. To help out? By doing what? Sharing some interrogation techniques. <laughs> oh! Um, you mean you taught Candace some more persuasive methods? <laughs> yeah, I definitely do not wonder what was happening inside of this barn. Right. Come on in, everyone. We're building. I guess it's not a barn. <laughs> Come on, let's go inside. All right, sir. Uh... Hopefully it's not like a, a horror movie. Oh, this is where we were. Okay. You look furious. Ooh, fast and the furious. Do I? Huh. What gave it away? What, you couldn't get any information? Oh, there's no mask that can hide true bloodlust. Cover up your eyes and it'll still show itself at the corners of your mouth. Perhaps I need to work on my composure. <laughs> Still, it's perfectly understandable why I'm angry. I'm sure everyone present would agree. All right, well, I mean, it's good. They're all standing up, so that's a start. Uh, yes, yes, ma'am. <laughs> Please, don't feed us anymore. <laughs> We're gonna die. <laughs> We're gonna die. <laughs> well, my sign will her well. <laughs> No, she's just as terrifying as he is. You fear death yourselves. <laughs> oh. Yet you do not hesitate to place the lives of others <laughs> at risk. <laughs> the absurdity is mind-boggling. <laughs> We're gonna die. The ones you call mad scholars are known to us as the village keepers. They are vital members of our community. And some even count them as family. You come here to my village, Ooh, and you see serious. my people as nothing more than stepping stones towards your goal. Tell me, what would you do to you in my position? Answer right. Uh, mercy, please have mercy. You've made your bed. We may Ooh, all be desert dwellers, dear. but there is one thing that I understand better than you. The resurrection of King Deshret will only result in war. And war serves no one. The people of Aru Village care little about which god is in power. Life may be tough. What is Uncle doing there? But we wish to preserve our way of life. A war would only cause us to lose all that we have. And that is not a responsibility that you can afford to shoulder. Uh, we understand. We're sorry. <laughs> I'll tell you everything I know. Please, just let us go. I'm listening. Uh, you might not believe this, but it wasn't us who came up with this idea. Really? Someone was spreading rumors in the tavern. That's how we ended up hearing about King Deshret's resurrection. Some mystery man told us that mad scholars will make the perfect sacrifice to usher in King Deshret's resurrection. I knew it. They give their lives, and we can get anything we wish for. They're called village keepers. Slip up again, oh, and you'll regret it. Oh, baby! Uh, yes, sorry. <laughs> it was all that mystery man's doing. He told us to spread the word about mystery King Deshret's man. resurrection and talked us into helping him. In return, he said he'll help facilitate the resurrection process. Where are the village keepers now? Uh, I'm not sure. 
That's one. Uh oh. Huh? One what? Uh oh. Strike. You get a total of three. <laughs> then you die by my hand. Oh my god. <laughs> Wait, I'm telling the truth. We don't know anything. It was all him. Well, there's three of you. One of you got to know something. Please hurry up because I do not want to clean this mess up. Two. Oh, oh no. He got us to lure them out of their houses in the night with some kind of incense. We take them to a junction outside the village. Then the mystery guy takes them from there. <sighs> you got to believe me, please. <laughs> I'm telling the truth, I swear. Just ask them if you don't believe me uh oh here we go okay they, uh, they all nod in agreeance that was indeed the truth traveler go on all right we're on it do you have any idea who that mysterious person might be you have to believe me if i knew that i would have told you his name right away i'm not risking another beating to keep his secrets no way what does he look like he, um, uh, th that guy, he wears a cloak, and okay. he's always careful to cover his face. Uh, he calls himself King Deshret's envoy. I believe I may know what's going on. Uncle Anpu? What do you mean? <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh, jeez! <laughs> no way! Did he just kill him? <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> oh Jesus! <laughs> Why did he just do that? <laughs> he had enough! <laughs> Apparently that was three. Okay, <laughs> speak. Oh my gosh! Just to come out. If my suspicions Ooh. are correct, this <laughs> mystery man they speak of could be from the academia. Hmm. Some time ago, people from the academia attempted to take the village keepers away. I refused, insisting that they are part of our community. It strikes me now that this secretive character shares the same goal they had. Which means it's highly likely that the academia was purposely spreading a false rumor to trick the radicals into delivering the village keepers right into their hands. <laughs> they were the ones who brought them here to begin with. Now they're trying to take them back? We aren't gonna let that happen. Interesting. Not the academia again. Hmm. In Sumeru City, Sitaria also mentioned King Deshret's resurrection is just the academia's misinformation campaign. Just as I thought. But what could they want with the village keepers? People are nothing but tools in the eyes of the academia. Right. A change in their plans likely means they found another way to exploit the scholars. <sighs> Regardless, our top priority now is locating the village keepers. Yo, we gotta find them before they are sacrificed. You're right. Isak is still waiting for news on his grandpa. Time to go. Let's leave the village and try to track them down. Yes. Pack up and get ready to leave. All right, I'm ready. You got it. Candace, I'll let you deal with the radicals. Leave everything outside the village to us. All right. Let's meet back here once everyone's ready. Nope, I'll hate them. Let's get some food in us and then we'll... Woo! <laughs> Where did you come from? Well, as you can see... I am merely sitting here and reviewing what we have deduced thus far. You were gone for ages! And now you're suddenly sitting here musing to yourself? Where have you been anyway? You never think things through before asking questions. I'm giving you some time to make up for that. <laughs> <laughs> There's just nothing super obvious to pick with this guy. It makes it so hard. Well, you've heard nothing to suggest I left this whole time. So clearly, I stayed in the village to investigate. Anyway, 
You plan to leave Aru village and keep searching for the truth of this matter, yes? Uh, yeah. <sighs> yep. We're not gonna find out anything more by staying here. So we thought that we might as well take the search elsewhere. Does he have an idea? Uh, enough with the silent treatment! Uh, maybe she's giving us time to think. No. Oh. I'm just surprised that you decided to team up with him. Well, yeah, Sino is super cool! Give him a chance. All Haytham, you haven't helped us out at all ever since we arrived at Aru Village. Bold of you to question our choices. Yeah, I mean, that's true. Yeah, you're all talk. While you were investigating, I had my own work to do, which I've now finished. Really? Paimon doesn't believe you. To be honest, we aren't really a team, so I have no obligation to what? inform you of my whereabouts. Okay. Not to mention that going separate ways allowed me to find some important information that you all had missed. Huh? Right here in the village? Correct. What did you learn? I'm going to take you to someone. But before that, you need to understand where she's coming from. What does that mean? Yeah, what the heck? How do you think the residents of Aru Village feel about what we're doing? In other words, do you truly believe every single word the villagers tell us? What? You mean, some of them lied to us? Oh no, who? Hiding the truth does not necessarily equate to lying. Again, these people have their reasons. Remember what Candace said? Most people in Aru Village don't necessarily care which deity is in charge of Sumeru. That's because whether King Deshret or the Dendro Archon has power is of little significance to them. By contrast, the perils of their daily lives are ever-present concerns. They won't simply share everything they know with you without good reason. That's why you believed there was no further information to be found in this village. So you're saying we can find new info from someone we've already spoken to? Glad you're following along. Oh, phew. okay, good. I am. Among those you have talked to, there's someone who was consciously keeping you out of the loop. In fact, she's been observing your every move since you arrived. Her? The reason being, to someone who only wants to live their life in peace, any external factors introduce unpredictability into the equation. like a real fighter don't change the subject it's quite obvious that she's intimidated by Sino's authority <laughs> and strength <laughs> me too R right you were asking about the vi uh, I mean the mad scholars she corrected herself mid-sentence because she's aware that there are King Deshret fanatics in the village if she sounds too friendly towards the village keepers she could easily make herself the radicals next target oh I think it's been a few days since I last saw them. I usually go to bed pretty early, so I'm not too familiar with what goes on at night. Remember? She made a point of denying her involvement in anything that occurs at night. But honestly, I feel quite sympathetic towards them. Even though they act a little strange, they've helped me in the past. If it weren't for them, my house would have collapsed long ago. After speaking to the village chief, it became clear that the village keepers had protected Aru village at night. In other words, the young miss was very much awake during that time. Ooh, look at you! Wow, what a detective! We totally missed that! Then, why would she lie? By getting involved with an outsider, she risks drawing unwanted attention to herself. As for why she might be so wary about all this, <laughs> maybe you should ask her. I'll pass on this one. <laughs> you said that she is afraid of me. If so, it's best if I stay out of this. Yeah, true. We're on it! Alright, let's go talk to her. Let's get to the bottom of, uh, what is really happening here. Why did she lie to us? Uh, hold on. There we go. Less intimidating! <laughs> Miss Shawnee. As we discussed earlier, I've brought someone with me. 
Mr. Alhatham, I'm aware of where you stand, but how can I make sure that your friends think the same as you? Huh? What do you mean? We need to clarify our stance or something? Go ahead and talk to her. You'll get the answers you want. Go on. Earn her trust. Is it really that simple? I'm nervous! Uh, may I call you Traveler? Uh, yeah, sure thing. Hi, Miss Shani. Uh, hi, Traveler. I want to ask you something. All right, go ahead. Do you think the resurrection of King Deshret can truly change Sumeru for the better? Uh, no, absolutely not. Why is that? Uh, because it'll only result in conflict? That's very similar to what Miss Candace says. I know you two are friends. That's why I'm willing to talk to you, even though I do have some reservations. Before, I wouldn't even have the courage to ask something like this. Traveler, do you believe our lives will get better? Hmm. I can't promise anything, but I'll do the best I can. Yeah, we came here from another nation, so it isn't wrong of you to be weary. And we aren't really residents of any one nation. But even so, we've met lots of people from different places, and we've always fought for what we believed in. We have friends in Sumeru, and we want to help them. That's why we decided to stay here for a while. Right. I want to trust you. My apologies for posing my questions like that. To be honest, I didn't expect you to come back for more information. Oh, hey, them told us you have your reasons. It's okay. We understand. The fact is that I'm... Only one side of my family is desert folk. I don't really fit in anywhere in Sumeru. Some believe in the Dendro Archon, while others believe in King Deshret. I don't belong to either side, and neither side would want me. Speaking of which, the Radicals mentioned that they despise traitors. Do they just think that anyone who's different from them is a traitor? Yeah. Some people can be so narrow-minded when it comes to bloodline and beliefs. It makes no difference what I say or how I behave. I'll always be suspected of having ulterior motives. Slowly, I just stopped talking to people. I pretended not to hear or see anything. All I want is to live my life in peace. Man, we gotta stop these radicals. And then it happened. They are terrible. The village keepers who had helped me disappeared with no explanation. And I didn't dare breathe a word about it to anyone. Until now. You can tell them. I'm sure he'll keep your secret. <laughs> All right. I'll tell you what I told Al Haytham. I actually have a sharper sense of hearing than most. Oh. Sometimes I hear strange crying sounds in the night. What? <laughs> there are ghosts? Perhaps. What? I'm not sure. It's faint. But it's definitely the sound of crying. It comes from far away in the distance Ooh. and always carries very raw emotion. What the heck is it? It used to be louder and more frequent. But ever since you arrived in the village, it doesn't seem to happen as often. And when it does, it's much quieter. I have to focus really hard to make it out. I confirmed this with the guards on night duty. They also have someone with a good ear. And he's heard similar sounds at night. So crying at night. But because we're in the middle of a desert, you would rather believe that they are the cries of beasts than ghosts. Could you make out where the sounds were coming from? There's really nothing around these parts, except for an old hospital not far from the village. Ooh, a haunted hospital? No way. I think they used to use it for treating Elazar, but it's been abandoned for years. <sighs> We need to check out that hospital. Yeah, let's go. Oh no. Oh no. Yeah, I don't want to. I'm okay. Oh, I really don't want to go to this haunted hospital. What the heck? This is going to be so scary. Oh, this is spooky in here. Oh, there it is. 
It was spooky music. Oh man. I wonder if Kaleo has been here. Sounds good to me. Final warning. Oh, this is gonna be interesting. I don't know what to expect. But I am very uh You know scared. This just looks This place looks haunted. Oh, and it has like a golden door in the front of it, kind of like Elden Ring. Okay. All right. Well, let's just grab this loot. Get down, Sino. We're not climbing around. Let's get this. Wealth is the All right. Let's get inside of this uh, hospital. Oh, it's in terrible shape. Yeah. Monsters, watch out! All right. I'm not. I'm not worried about these guys. I'm worried about what is inside. Come on, there we go. There we go. Defeat monsters. Easy breezy. We can do it. Even this guy. He's going down. This guy is going down too, baby. One more. Come on, come on, come on. Easy. All right. Defeated the monsters. Let's go inside. Easier to deal with than Paimon had expected. Oh, yeah. I mean, what were you even expecting? Uh, super strong bandits? Or monsters taller than buildings dropping out of the sky? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Or, you know, something like that. Yeah, I, I can agree with the second one. Hmm. Uh oh. He looks super serious. We gotta stay on our A game too. Hmm. This is the one. Oh, here we go. Good. He's gonna unlock it for us. Thank goodness. Oh, what's inside? Let's go in and take a look. All right, I'm a little nervous. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, you carefully search the abandoned hospital. Oh. This isn't bad. This looks like an abandoned hey, hospital. <laughs> I'll hit them. We haven't found Squat. Are you sure we aren't wasting our time here? Patience. Shawnee says she only hears the crying at night. Oh. We have time to burn. Until then. Until then what? Until then what? I'll hate them. I'm taking a break. Break. <sighs> and just like that, he sits down. Well, I don't have a book to read. Can you read it out loud? What are you reading? Let Paimon see. Okay, sure. Hmm. Huh? Uh, um, uh, the natural position, which is the <laughs> positional propensity of an entity in natural motion. <laughs> Contrast with an object in forced motion? Huh? When free from external influences, every entity displays the tendency to follow its natural trajectory? So, um, you got that? No, none of it. Oh, Paimon gives up. You keep reading your book. See ya. <laughs> Deuces. How is he so relaxed? Look at him. I mean, maybe it's time to spread your wings and become learned. Learned? Learned? Hey, what good is that gonna do for you? You're acting like one of those annoying grown-ups who go around <laughs> people to focus on their studies. Well, the more you learn, the more money you can earn to support me. Hey, what gives? Shouldn't you be the one providing for Paimon? Is it that what I'm doing now? Oh, right. Okay, then. Thank you. 
working so hard to earn <laughs> so much more. Uh, if it weren't for you, Paimo would probably still be floating around in the ocean somewhere. <laughs> yeah, let's not think about that. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh, that was cool. Are we gonna hear the crying? I'm kind of ah, scared. Paimon's getting so sleepy. I hear the crying! What is that? Huh? What was that sound? Oh, that's spooky. There it is. That is so spooky! It's coming from that direction. I'm scared. <laughs> I'm... Is the sound coming from here? Huh. Paimon's not seeing anything. What? What is happening to Alatham? Oh no, he's possessed! What is happening? It's from below. Uh, but there's no way we can get down there. Something is off about the interior here. I am scared. I am spooked. Ooh, this is spooky. Hmm. As I thought, there's a hidden structure. Wow. It's like they tucked another hospital into this one. Oh, it looks like there are other mechanisms around here. Let's keep exploring. Okay. <laughs> Investigate the elemental monuments around the hospital. All right, so El Hatham got one. We have a few more over there, so I'm gonna have to change a party. All right, I'm using Kale. Just felt right, you know. In the end, being All here at a hospital for Elazar. All right, there we go. All right, cool. All right, it's all unlocked. Let's go. Oh, look at it in here. Keep a balanced diet, rest regularly, and maintain a good mood. Monday, minty bean soup, ta chin lunch, curry shrimp, panapiri, Tuesday salad. Oh, okay, so this week's meal. Emergency notice. Patient Abbas, male 23 years old, mole on the left side of forehead and left-handed. While his condition remains very serious, survival will be difficult without professional medical care. The patient's survivability, once found, immediately inform. Don't give up. Say positive. All beings are under the watchful eye of the divine, so don't ever give up. The rest of the document has been rendered unreadable by weathering. What is going on? This week's shift, okay. Not really interested. Not really interested to know who is working. There seems to be the darkened remains of a stem inside the vase. It was probably used to hold flowers. For Avin. Oh, this is spooky. Look, there he is. Yeah, we need to be careful. Good idea. Let's approach him slowly without alarming him. Is that a mad scholar? It's gotta be. Wait. You know him? You're. <sighs> what? Is he. What? He can't speak, and his eyes are unfocused. But he looks too young to be anyone's grandfather. Also, why is he the only one here? Didn't expect to see him here. Okay, so he does know him. Who is he? You know him? He's Razak, a senior of mine at the Academia. What? He's a scholar too? Is he the kind that holds up in a forest and mumbles stuff about training? No, 
And that's the problem. Razak was never involved in any of those things. He never trained in the forest, let alone reach Satyavada life. Right, so how did he become like this? Leaving that question aside for the moment, him being here alone means that we might be too late. Looks like they've already taken everyone away. Oh no. For whatever reason, they left Razak here. Perhaps they simply didn't have time to come back for him. Hmm. Oh, drag marks. There are drag marks on the ground. They're clearer by the doorway. Someone was forcefully drawing a cart that was loaded with something heavy. Oh, bodies? Loaded with people? Oh, no. That is one possibility. Hmm. It looks like they Ooh, were in a hurry. This is as dark. As if they were afraid of being caught. In their haste, they failed to notice Razak hiding in a corner. <sighs> Mumble some place so we could go to it. The symptoms are identical. Looks like we found living proof. Huh? Why do you say that? Allow me to jog your memory. Recall your time at Port Ormos. Okay. Don't you think his symptoms look familiar? Oh, yes. Yeah, the Emirate guy who went mad. Oh, now that you mention it, they're acting the same way. Correct. The academia is behind all of this. It isn't difficult to deduce their rationale. First, the academia spread a false rumor of King Deshret's resurrection, emphasizing the role of the village keepers, the mad scholars who were exiled to Aru village. These rumors were all the persuasion that the radicals needed, and those based in Aru village leapt into action. Unbeknownst to them, of course, through rounding up the scholars, they were actually helping the academia. As well as being able to exploit the radicals for their own ends, this scheme has one further advantage to the academia. All the risks and responsibilities are offloaded onto King Deshret's followers. Wow, I mean, the academia is scary because they have everything covered and clearly has this grandest scheme that, uh, you know, the Faturi are involved with as well. And it is just terrifying their reach right now and it is clear that it is evil life for the desert dwellers has been brutal ever since king deshret's death all those years ago beneath the surface feelings of desperation are widespread many would give everything they have for the prospect of something better anyone looking to exploit that for their own ends simply needs to make a few empty promises even if complications arise People will see that those involved are all followers of King Deshret and look for no further explanation than differences of belief. A deep-seated mistrust of the desert and everyone in it by the rest of Sumeru will make sure of that. The notion of an academia plot wouldn't even cross their minds. It may seem like a simple strategy, but it is able to work wonders under Sumeru's current circumstances. Oh, that makes a lot of sense. It's in line with the village chief's theory, too. Yeah, but what do we do now? But there's still one very important question. Wasn't it the academia that brought the scholars to Aru village in the first place? Why does it want them back now? Throughout this process, one thing has changed. The scholars' identity. First, they were scholars. Then, they became lunatics. After that, they were exiles. And finally, they become missing persons. I see. An exile is still patently a living, breathing human being. But when someone becomes a missing person, that is brought into question. If you can't find someone, you have no way of knowing what exactly happened to them. That makes missing people an ideal resource. Resource? For what exactly? Harvesting. One possibility is that the information in their brains could be extracted into knowledge capsules. Extracted? You mean canned knowledge comes from people's brains? So harvesting knowledge? Oh, that's disgusting. 
with the technology of the Sumeru Academia, it's entirely possible. Oh man, this got dark. Perhaps the process caused them great suffering, which is why they cry out in the dead of night when no one is watching them. So, the human brain. No, nah. Yeah. The human doesn't want to think about this. No, me neither. But how did you learn of this technology? <laughs> I'm the Academia scribe, after all. I'm familiar with their projects. Anyway, judging by Razak's state, the contents of a divine knowledge capsule were extracted from his mind. But something went wrong in the process. Or perhaps his curiosity got the better of him, and he used such a capsule for himself. And that's why they left him here. Uh, Paimon's a little confused. Can they just use anyone's brain? No, that can't be right. Most of the mad scholars had made contact with the divine consciousness in the forest. That's what the academia is after. It's also safe to assume that this knowledge has something to do with the Fatui, the doctor, and also the Belladeer. They're using divine knowledge capsules to turn the Belladeer into a god. The look on your face tells me you've realized the answer. The academia needs people who have been exposed to the divine consciousness. That's right. To some scholars, gaining knowledge about the gods is their entire life's pursuit. Extracting can knowledge is just one of the extreme measures they turn to. However, I can't help but wonder, what do they seek to gain from divine knowledge? The academia is going out of their way to look for forbidden knowledge. We should tell him. Is their ultimate goal? I think this is the moment we tell him. I've spent quite some time trying to analyze the contents of the divine knowledge capsule, but to no avail. It seems like my way of thinking is too different from theirs. You mean you're not even slightly interested in getting your hands on this forbidden stuff? All scholars seek to expand the horizons of knowledge, but I'm not particularly interested in gods, so I don't share their degree of zealotry. Extracting information from people as if they were lifeless objects? <laughs> if this is the direction of academic progress, then the academia may as well shut its doors. Sounds like you're really against all this. Which is good. Of course. The academia's actions run contrary to their rules. Whether it be academics or knowledge, everything has its boundaries. If those lines are crossed, the rules and order that govern everything in the world will be destroyed. This matter needs to be corrected, just like fixing a typo in a book. Let's go. Okay, so he is on our side. We're not going to get blindsided, thankfully. Wait, didn't you step in to help because you felt sympathy for those poor people? Not to be callous, but no. My criteria are a little more restrictive than that. There is no shortage of suffering in Sumeru, and the same can be said for the rest of Tevat as well. What do you plan to do about that? Save every last person? Um, probably not. Uh, Paimon's not sure. Your motives are more specific and personal. You can say that. Simply put, I don't blindly place my faith into strength or heroism. I do what I want. The divine knowledge capsule is something I want to investigate in full. That doesn't mean I'm willing to take action for the sake of a few strangers. Though he rejects the notion of greater moral responsibility, he justifies his actions because they are true to his personal motivations. Someone like him might actually make for a better ally. Hyman's been wanting to say this for a while. There are a lot of bad guys in the academia, but you're not you're their weirdo. <laughs> <laughs> You're probably right. He's good. Though I must say, I quite enjoy this feeling of being the odd one out. Uniqueness is also an asset, is it not? Oh yeah, absolutely. Wow, that's a great way to think about it. Paimon's really impressed. If only Miss Shani had a similar mindset, her life would definitely be a lot easier. I'm just a more likable person than her in general. <laughs> There's nothing more to it than that. Oh, I do like Alhatham. He's growing on me. Uh, so what do we do with him? He won't last long if we leave him here. 
Let's take him with us. All right. We'll work out our next step after we return to Aru Village. Okay, back to Aru Village. We have to bring this mad scholar. Go back to the village chief's house and meet up with everybody. Oh boy. This is getting serious. This is getting crazy. We're back. Hi guys. You must be tired. You should rest and take some water. What's the situation? Hmm. Who's this? Unfortunately, somebody who's too young to take on the role of Isak's grandfather. Nevertheless, he's one of the people we're trying to find. I wonder what our next move is gonna be. So, at one point in time, the abandoned Elazar Hospital served as the academia site for extracting divine cant knowledge. Yep, pretty much. Their plan must have been implemented at some point before we arrived at Aru Village, since divine cant knowledge has been in circulation for a while now. So this has been going on for longer than we think? Yet, they fled once we were headed to the village, almost as if they knew we were on their trail. Why is that? The Tore. Huh. Yeah. Why is that? We may have a mole in our midst. Mm, oh yeah, couldn't be the Tore. One of us could be secretly revealing our whereabouts to the academia. Oh, no, is it the kid? That's why he wanted to come with us. Huh? Are our friendships that shallow? <sighs> Looks like none of you have realized wherein lies the issue. Uh, care to share your thoughts? Sino, you're the reason why they can predict our movements. What? Wait, what's that supposed to mean? Choose your next words very carefully. <laughs> it is simply a logical inference. I have my reasons. So what you're saying is, Sino's the mole. No, Sino can't be the mole. Interesting. And here I thought you were the most suspicious one, I'll hate them. It's the Since kid. You were always acting alone. It's the kid. The kid is. I don't trust him. I don't trust him at all. I trust everybody else except him. I know. You have a point. But I realized something as we were returning from the hospital. Sino isn't like any of us. What are you trying to say? Do you still remember who you are? General Mahamatra. <laughs> As a Matra, you are no doubt privy to certain kinds of information. Before you can take action against someone, you are required to have all the facts available, including the less than savory details. Simply put, the academia has traditionally allowed you access to a wealth of sensitive information. Knowing their modus operandi, wouldn't you expect them to take precautions against you? If you want to raise a vicious wolf, you need to make sure that you can avoid its bite. The academia is monitoring me? They know how Sina will operate. Ooh. It's not that simple. The academia has eyes all over Sumeru, but they have a special protocol for dealing with you. Wow, that's crazy. Every so often comes a Nyagarbaha day. On this day, the academia enters new information into the Akasha through knowledge capsules. I remember seeing a thick notebook next to the control panel once. Its contents were all about the General Mahamadra, Ooh. his activities throughout the day, preferred methods of enacting judgment, everything. Everything about Sino. You're saying that the academia entered my information into the Akasha too? But what's the point in doing that? My actions aren't important enough to be added into the Akasha. The Akasha is capable of computation. Huh. The Akasha's algorithms are entirely capable of predicting your movements using the data entered. When you would depart, the route you would follow, your destination. Wow. It knew all of this. That is crazy. It predicted my every move. Ooh. 
The academia has been watching you longer than you think. However, the fact that you resigned is proof that their suspicions were well-founded. So that's how it is. So they anticipated him leaving as well. Used his principles so strongly that he's actually a thorn in their side. Tenacity of will and steadfast faith are worthless to the academia. They need scholars who are easily pliable and mindlessly go after anything they can profit from. Sino, don't take it to heart. This Man. just proves how much of a trustworthy ally you are. <sighs> they escaped because of me. Oh no! Don't blame yourself. It's not like any of us would have known. Exactly. I have an idea. If they predicted my movements, then I might be able to guess where they went. Ooh. Whoa, you bounced back fast. <laughs> there is always an opportunity for safety after danger passes. Oh, so that's how it is! Paimon gets it now! If the Academia is trying to avoid Sino, then the safest place would be... One step behind him. Yep, that's right! They'll want to proceed in the direction opposite of where I'm going. Ooh, you're getting smarter, Paimon! So are we going back to Sumeru City? There's also something I want to investigate. We're all splitting up. Let's go, guys! After him! Please, wait! I want to go, too! No, Isak, no. You're going to stay here. Hmm. You want to go, too? If so, you have to promise you'll stay safe. I want to find Grandpa. I promise I'll be careful and not cause any trouble. Everyone, I leave him in your hands. Oh, all right. Yay, let's go! Remember to pack some food with you. Yep. Paimon feels like we're missing someone, though. Hmm. Uh, Dia, is she here? So, where do we go from here? Sino, do you remember the route you took? Yes. After leaving the village, we should head straight toward the desert. Going into the desert. Look at a Sinos! Like the back of my hand. Is that because you play here a lot? Yep. One time, Grandpa almost got lost in the desert. But I was the one who brought him back. Which one is the real Sino? <laughs> oh, what's that on the ground? There's something here. What's this? It's buried in the sand. Hmm. Looks like we'll need to roll up our sleeves and do some work. Oh, and Paimon thought running around everywhere was already enough work. Now isn't the time for complaining, Paimon. Okay, okay. So we have to take it out? Whatever's down there looks like it's buried really deep. These are likely fragments of an what academia developed device, something akin to a headset. I was gonna say, it almost looks like a mask or a helmet. Looks like there were more than one village keeper. They must have been escorted this way because there are device fragments scattered around here. Let's split up and search the area. Chances are that we'll find other things nearby. Oh, are we gonna find them? Is this what we're searching for? It looks kind of scary. They probably put this on top of the village keeper's head, which then drains their minds. This is definitely a device used to extract yep, okay. knowledge. That's what I thought. How did it end up buried in the sand? That can't have been part of the plan. They must have been attacked along the way. By who? Wait, what? Grandpa. I hope you're okay. Don't worry. Your grandpa's gonna be fine. Razak didn't display any signs of starvation or dehydration, which means that they left fairly recently. We should be able to catch up. One more thing. Given that the device had been entirely covered by sand, I believe the attack must have happened prior to the sandstorm. I agree. Let's keep going. They can't have gone far. 
Oh my goodness. Where are they going? This is getting intense. Oh boy. You're flying, aren't you, Paimon? <laughs> Is flying over sand tiring, too? <laughs> uh, of course it is! He called her out! I love it. I love it, man. This Subaru Archon quest is something else. It's just one you think you What's have an idea. That sounds like an argument. Just when you think you have an idea of where this Archon quest is going, you're wrong. They throw a twist. They'll notice us. Who is that? That's Dia? Dia's talking with the Aramites? Hm. Very interesting. Let's listen in. If you had informed me sooner, there'd be plenty of room for us to. You're one of us. We would never lie. Scholars. You don't know as much as I do. Need me to... <laughs> I knew it. That's our Dia. Dia? Why would you... No, that doesn't make sense. Dia! Oh, no! Blow up position! Hey, what are you doing? Huh? Didn't you say you'd help me find Grandpa? Why, Why are you on their side? Uh-oh. <laughs> Well, look who's here. Ain't that something? Oh, no. Uh, this complicates things. You've betrayed Aru Village. Oh, no. Dia? So, this is the great General Mahamatra. <laughs> Dear, you'd be better off as my assistant than hanging around with this motley crew. Seen for yourself, I have the means and methods and my ideals are far more admirable than theirs. I'm not the type that's easily swayed, Raman. You of all people should know that. Wait, what's going on, Dia? Whose side are you on here? Shut it, Paimon. <gasps> it doesn't matter. Whichever side you pick, nothing can deter us from the grand mission of resurrecting King Deshret. Once our Lord of Old returns to this land, we will have a new beginning. Face the facts, Raman. It's not gonna happen. You should understand that more than anyone. Have all your years as a merc taught you nothing about placing hopes in a ruler? I'm a desert dweller and a proud follower of King Deshret. Whether I live by the edge of the sword or in peaceful comfort, my soul will always carry this conviction. It's not too late yet. The village keep <clears throat> mad scholars aren't going to bring King Deshret back to life. You don't understand, my dear lady. Pursuing our faith is our purpose in life. Even if the chance of success is one in a million, we must be willing to give everything we have. Even if it'll expose you to the academia? Even if they end up disbanding the Aramites? Your Aramites, which you've worked so hard for all these years? Yes. We've waited a long time for this day to come. The sun and the moon no longer shine here. All you see now is cracks in this desiccated land. But fate has finally dealt me a hand to play against the academia. With these scholars in our custody, we'll stomp they the have them? forces and fight our way beyond the wall of Samuel. <sighs> Ridiculous. Think about it. The academia controls the entirety of Samaru. Your powers are negligible in comparison. If you still don't believe me, then try asking these two men. They're also against the academia, but neither of them are as arrogant as you are. <laughs> they look more like pawns of the academia to me. Why would I listen to anything the people of Greater Lord Ruka Devada have to say? Filthy traitors. Your god abandoned all honor and betrayed King Deshret. We desert dwellers will never trust the likes of you. It's impossible to communicate with someone so hostile. Perhaps we should. 
Do you really believe that by kidnapping the scholars, you'll be able to negotiate with the academia? Huh? I'll hate them. These people have no value as bargaining chips, but I could be persuaded to take their place as your next hostage. These scholars were exiled from the academia. I, on the other hand, am their current scribe and will be a much greater asset to you. Wait, you can't be serious. So, you want to trade places with the hostages, do you? Precisely. Any wise person would gladly accept my offer. What are you thinking? What if they decide to kill you instead? Nah, we've seen him fight. Well, that would be bad luck for me. However, I'd get the chance to observe the scholars, perhaps even find out the truth. <sighs> Think you can talk me over with that confident look of yours? I'm not trying to persuade you. I'm using this as a means of joining forces against the academia. You are the scribe. What do you have against the academia? Not all desert dwellers believe in King Deshret. And the same applies to the Academia. Why must all knowledge seekers approve of the Academia's way of doing things? <laughs> you Academia scum! Every last one of you is nothing but a hypocrite, just like everyone else on the other side of that wall. I've made myself clear enough. I won't listen to another word from the Dendro oh. Archon's people. We're gonna have to take him out. Not so fast. I'll hate them. Do you stand by everything you just said? <laughs> I never make empty promises. You know you're making a dangerous decision, right? I do. Good. Raman, hear me out. These people are my friends. Maybe you can't take the followers of the Dendro Archon at their word, but what about me? Do you trust me? We've known each other for years. Of course I do. In that case, I'm willing to vouch for their honesty with my right arm. What? <sighs> Come on, Raman. Don't be a coward. If you're serious about taking on the academia, what? you need to steal yourself. You can't be afraid. <laughs> An arm from the flame main. You've piqued my interest. But what if you refuse to oblige? What should I do then? No one's a fool here. Dear. No way. We're mercs. The mercs don't tend to live long unless they have their wits about them. You're not wrong, but this is different. I promised my friends that we'd bring back the village keepers together. Uh, let's do it right here then. No way. Give me your right arm as proof of your resolve. No way. <sighs> He just wants to make things more difficult. That's fine. No way. Are you crazy? We came here to save lives. No way. One arm for that many people is still a pretty good deal, if you ask me. Raman, I'm holding up my end of the deal here. You'd better not let me down. Sure. Go ahead and cut what? off the right arm. No way this is going to happen. Oh, no. No. You don't have to go this far. That's not for you to decide. Oh my Do goodness. It. Oh, no way. Dia! Dia, run! Uh-oh. No. No. <gasps> uh, stop. Oh my! What's wrong? Can't do it? Flame Mane, you and I are both desert folk. Cutting off your arm is no different than cutting off my own fingers. Where's the sense in cutting my own kin to pieces? <sighs> oh, I honestly thought that was just about to happen. You've shown me that you're Ooh, serious. That was shocking. Go on now, take your friends and leave. Meet me in the desert at noon tomorrow. Oh, that was so intense. That was so intense. Ooh.
Oh, I got sweaty. I got sweaty there. Phew. Yeah. I was really counting on him not going through with it. Dia. That was crazy. Have you Jeez. lost your minds? What if he'd actually cut your arm off? Hmm. Then I'd just have to hold my claymore with my left arm. <laughs> nice. Uh, please don't ever do that again. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. But sometimes when you're out on a limb, you gotta double down to seal the deal, you know? No, I don't! Don't ever make a promise like that again. I can deal with the likes of them. If it came down to it, you would not lose to them either. I don't doubt it, Sino. But this is about more than me and them. There's a lot more where they came from. Even if we got rid of one bunch of radicals, there are others out there. Wiping them out would do more harm than good. <sighs> As you wish. I'm sorry, Dia. I should have stayed put and listened. I should have trusted you. It's okay. I promised you I'd help find your grandpa, so I'll do whatever it takes. Whatever it takes? <laughs> You just might be scholar material. <laughs> huh? Are you serious? The Aramites once said that I was a lunatic. Perhaps a little madness is essential to be successful in research. Why does it feel like he's using his praise for me as an excuse to brag about himself? <laughs> well, that's just how he is. Okay, let's get moving. We should head back to the village and rest up. Today was just a trial run. Noon tomorrow is going to be the hard part. Oh, no. You're all here so early. Yeah, good morning, everyone. Looks like we have everyone here. Isak, are you sure you want to come with us? I'll watch from a safe distance. Dia, I want to be there to bring Grandpa home. Okay, let's go then. Dia, wait. What's the matter? I heard that you were quite reckless yesterday. No more of that today, understood? Agreed. Or I'll be very upset with you. Yeah, I think all of us would be. <sighs> Fine. Oh, today is the day we gotta save the hostages. Go to the agreed location. Oh, what an Archon quest. Oh my goodness. That was so intense. I honestly thought uh, Dia was going to be losing her arm. I was like, there's no way, right? There's no way that this is going to be happening. It was close, though. It was close. I am really loving this Archon quest. Why do we only see one? Huh. They got here before us. Is it a trap? Uh oh. Again? Is it because Paimon overslept by five minutes and held everyone up? I uh, didn't have to admit that. Is everything ready? Why is there only one though? Absolutely. Although, you brought fewer people than yep. I imagined. Exactly. Literally Bring one. Over. Literally one. Grandpa! Why is there only one of them? Raman, I've always thought of you as a man of his word. What's this about? And he doesn't look like a mad scholar. It's a one for one exchange. Sounds fair, don't you think? What? That was not the deal. And let me put it this way. Agreeing to any kind of deal with the Dendro Archon's people is already a huge compromise on my part. Don't you think you've asked enough? Oh. Uh-oh. Uh-uh. You stay right there. Are we going to fight them? Is it showtime? Oh, cutscene, baby. This is going to be awesome. Oh, look at Dia. Oh, she's taking them on. Yo, let's go. Dia has her moment. Oh. 
Oh, this is awesome. Don't you see this blade here? Sino. Coward. Why are your hands shaking? Wait a second. It's up. The whole crowd what? is. Oh no, what is happening? Oh, it's him. What the? What the? What is happening? Oh my gosh. No. What just happened? We got sucked into the sand? Is everyone okay? Man, this Archon quest is, is nuts! Just great. Oh my god, it's mind blowing! <laughs> what a nuisance. The sand dune collapsed. I saw an energy field. The village keeper protected us. It glowed green with Tentro. Hmm. <laughs> Just like you said, it may well have been the remains of Lesser Lord Kusanali's power inside the scholar's body. No doubt. You finally believe me. The Dendro Archon. The present one. Grandpa? Grandpa? Oh no. He's getting confused again. Hey, look around you. Did there used to be a temple here? It seems that when the sand dune collapsed, it exposed these underground structures. The symbols on the gate belong to King Deshred's civilization. Oh no. The structure must be ancient. Over time, the sandstorms completely buried it and left it in the state we see now. It could have been an underground palace in the distant past. Oh, a miracle. Oh Praise no. King these but guys are down men. here? And his men too? They must have fallen down here with us. <laughs> Pretty lucky if you ask me. Uh, <sighs> Most of them seem in really bad shape. Except for him. He got off lightly. Classic. <laughs> Mind your head. No, no, this isn't the time for conflict. Our exalted lord has shown us the way to his sacred palace. Uh, this isn't good. Go in there, is he? As it happens, I want to take a look inside too. I'm nervous. I don't want to go inside. What are you doing? Don't you think it's curious? One minute, Lesser Lord Kusanali's power protects us from harm, and the next, remnants of King Deshret's civilization appear. Two major deities are vying to showcase their power to us. It would be a shame not to witness them both. Paimon thought you weren't interested in gods. Indeed. In my view, gods are just a higher form of living being. Or creature, you could say. New discoveries are always worth investigating. Whether they have anything to do with gods is neither here nor there. Raman, what are you going to do about your men? I'll just let them lay here. King Deshret will take care of his people. Right now, I'm going inside. Oh, looks like we're going inside. Oh, this is going to be interesting. Enter the mysterious ruins. Ooh. It's full of life here. Yeah, the candles are lit too. This defies comprehension. It looked completely desolate from the outside. Yet, it flows with energy inside. What the and there's heck? so many plants. It's so pretty. Yeah, it is pretty. Sir Raman. Uh, huh? Me? <laughs> Do you see another Raman here? <laughs> Are you mocking me? What do you mean, sir? Interpret it however you want. But there's something I'd like to draw your attention to. 
While this structure is clearly left over from King Deshret's civilization, the energy that flows in here is that of the Dendro Archon. Yeah, but why? <laughs> Whatever you say, it's not like I have a vision. There's nothing to be angry about. Think of this as an academic journey. It does seem kind of strange. If that's true, then we might have to explore this whole area to find an explanation. Interesting. But why? Proceed deeper within the ruins. Oh. Oh, all right. Look up at the hall as a mortal and listen to King Deshret's holy guidance. Look up at the hall. I guess we just rotate these. Look up. Okay, what the heck? Oh, hey, there we go. All right, where's this leading us? I don't like that. We're going deeper. Oh, oh my goodness. All right, so this is very puzzle heavy. What is this? Oh, good. Ooh, that looks so cool. Oh man. The Inazuma Archon quest was so intense and I loved it. It just seemed like there was no time to breathe during that Archon quest. And uh, Sumeru, I gotta say, has really, really taken the cake. There is, uh, there is no stopping or slowing down here in Sumeru. It is wild and uh, I am loving every minute of it. That is for sure. It's just intense and there's so much going on. So many pieces of the puzzle that we just don't see. I did not expect this at all from the Sumeru Archon quest. The best one so far. And I did see that some people didn't like the fact that there wasn't a lot of combat, but it's that to me, the story isn't about combat. Uh, it's about the story going through and uh, it, The combat just it's not doesn't make the story one way or the other in my opinion I love the story Okay, let's see here. Hey, I made it! Let's go! Combat definitely is not the important part of storytelling. That is for sure. Okay, let's take this elevator up. Oh, wait, there's a chest. I mean, is there other doors in here? No? Okay. So let's take the elevator. I wonder if we're gonna go back to where we just came from. Ooh. What is this? All right, hold on. Hold on, I'm not ready! Hold on! Hold on! There we go. Alright, let's take these guys out. Let's take the big ones out as fast as we can. Hello? What are you doing? Alright, there we go. What is this? After six days infiltrating the temple, I finally understand the priest's parlor tricks. The elevator will descend to the ground, get on top of it before it starts ascending again to reach the dome. 
nonsense like forbidden ground ahead mortals shall not pass or whatever are just made up by the priests to hoodwink us i have this method here in hopes that the people of king deshra who shall travel here in the future shall freely enjoy the privilege of witnessing his sacred presence okay so we have to jump up on top of the elevator i did notice that it had a top to it very interesting all right oh wait i probably should have stayed on the top huh all right well there's nothing in here that's good we investigated now we know that there is nothing hiding within the walls i need to make it go down and then jump back up onto it all right a little dark souls trick here all right let it go all the way down there we are beautiful okay king desperate what are those things Ooh, this almost looks like a boss arena all right what's going on hi everyone i hope you're doing well <laughs> okay all right all right all right all right okay let's take these guys out i wonder if we go over to the other one is it going to bring out more enemies i'm guessing right Ooh, okay. Okay, a puzzle. All right, it's just that one. All right, what do we need? I guess we just turn them until. Oh, 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 oh. Turn off. Turn off. Let's see. Can we turn these now? No. Interesting. What is that noise? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I see, I see. I see, they are spinning. Okay, turn off. Okay, hold on, hold on. Start up. Aha! Okay, all right, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Are they still going to turn? Oh, they are. They are, okay, I just have to time it. Okay, those two should yes beautiful ha <laughs> ha baby oh yeah activate the elevator all right we don't need to go in there oh where is this taking us now oh my goodness into the depths of the temple now that's a sight to see King Desret's splendor surrounds us. I'm nervous. There's so much vegetation here. It's different than what I expected. Sure are a lot of plants for a desert. Right. <laughs> That's what I call divine providence of King Desret. Where is this leading us? What the? What is this? A portal. Oh no. Are we going to King Dash Reed? What is this? What is this place? It's getting brighter. Oh, it looks so beautiful. I'm nervous. Where are we? What cutscene? Wait. No. What's that? Flowers. 
And it looks like there's something among them. It looks like a tomb. Deshret. These are King Deshret runes. They left something behind. Hmm. Yes. It's an elegy written in an ancient script. What does it say? Here lies our faithful priest, Kasala. Kasala! His wisdom is a miracle among the people, deserving of high praise and admiration. You can read ancient King Deshret script? Of course. Every student needs to master at least 20 languages before they graduate. He's not serious, right? Oh, yeah, he is. There's still something off about this place. The elemental energy here is too concentrated. The scent of life. Is it trying to tell us something? Hmm. Is this it? Analyzing. Whoa! Hmm. There seems to be a hidden message among these skeletal remains. Excellent. There's a device from King Deshret's civilization in this gravesite. I'll transmit the information over and project it for everyone to see. Isn't sharing knowledge against the Academia's rules? Yes. However, under the circumstances, I'd prefer you to see this for yourself. You'll understand after watching it. Oh, is this going to be a cutscene? I love cutscenes. <laughs> okay, we don't see anything. I'll hate them. Oh, here we go, baby! is born of knowledge, but so too can knowledge be its demise. A disaster caught us unaware. It was knowledge that did not belong to this world. King Deshret brought this forbidden knowledge into our world, and it quickly spread like a plague. Oh my. People's minds were filled with crazed whispers. Dark gray scales spread across their bodies. Even the land was stripped of its vigor. Only a desperate, deathly silence remained. Oh, this is awesome. Were it not for greater Lord Ruka Devata from the forests, the damage would have been irreversible. She summoned the priests to build temples and infused into them the divine power of life. The disaster was miraculously tempered, and the embers of our civilization were preserved in Aru village. Alas, the miracle could not last. As long as forbidden knowledge continued to exist, it would forever blight this world. In the end, the proud king of the desert, my eternal lord, chose to sacrifice himself. I have spent my whole life since guarding one of these many temples. Wow. But now, my duty is coming to an end. Oh. As I close my eyes for the final time, what the? the sight of that noble deity will appear in my vision once more. In helping King Deshret to eradicate forbidden knowledge, she exhausted her strength, and her form became that of a small child. Lesser Lord Kusanali? Now that I think of her, I no longer have any fear of death, for I sense that what? the spirit of life will abide with me during my eternal sleep. Children of the desert, Cling no longer to past grievances, but hold tight to the memory of this act of benevolence. Oh my what was word. That? What the? The priest's memories. No. No, impossible. Greater Lord Ruka Devata. So the former Dendro Archon wow. and King Deshret were never enemies at all. Wow. But this doesn't make any sense. The Dendro Archon's followers, they're clearly... Was that the former Dendro Archon? 
She became so tiny in the end. Raider Lord Rukadavada came to the rescue of King Deshra and his people, but eradicating the forbidden knowledge took so much of her power. The two deities' followers have resented each other all this time, completely unaware that they are gods stuck by each other through life and death. You might be distrustful. So of she didn't Akash, become but there's Naida. no reason for you to doubt King Deshred's technology. You've just witnessed his priest's last words. I've never heard about any of this before. The surviving followers of King Deshret all gathered in Aru village. Our god did not make mistakes. We refuse to believe any of the rumors. King Deshret's death. The all but total annihilation of our civilization. It was all Greater Lord Ruka Devata's doing. We saw her as nothing more than a traitor. Who stabbed us in the back in our moment of crisis. <laughs> Just like us humans. Fighting. Feuding. Double-crossing each other to survive in the desert. You were blinded by your prejudice. <laughs> if I hadn't seen this for myself, if I hadn't witnessed his last words with my own eyes, ears, and heart, how could I ever begin to accept this? The truth is so far from what I've always known. Am I really supposed to believe that after all these years, all this time seeking revenge, Suddenly now my enemy is my savior? Raman, that's enough. He's not gonna accept it. Give it a rest. You're starting to make a fool of yourself. <laughs> Dia, tell me. My Aramites and I, what are we even fighting for? Oh no. Hey, how you doing? Uh, this whole world came it. crashing down. <laughs> Thanks. I should probably go. Can't just stay here forever. What's your next move gonna be? Oh, I know what you're going to ask. I feel deeply ashamed of everything I've done. You'll get everything you're asking for. But please, uh, give me some time. After everything that's happened here today, Somehow, I need to explain it to the others. It's not gonna be easy. Well, I guess that's for me to deal with. Dia, uh, this is where our camp's located. Make a note of it. When would be a good time for us to go? Tomorrow. I'll convince everyone that we're all on the same side. And I'll return every last one of your mad... Uh, sorry, your village keepers. We'll share our other resources with you, too. You seem to finally understand Man. that our true enemy is the Sages. Now we have people on our side. We should team up and take down the Academia. Yes. The gods never gave up on anyone. It's the people responsible for all this that need to face the consequences yes. of their actions. Yes, Raman. That must have been rough. But he seems to have figured things out now. Yeah, hopefully. Raman's no fool. Being the leader of your own faction in the desert is no easy feat. It's too bad he was held back by his belief in King Deshred. But now that that's changed, I guess we have a few more people on our side. Yeah, this is a turn for the better. The outcome at least is favorable. We should get going too. Let's head back, have a proper meal, and a nice... Long sleep. Yeah. All our energy tomorrow. I agree. Hmm. Sorry, no, we're leaving. Stop yelling. <laughs> A crazy, crazy time during this Sumeru Archon quest. I, I like the fact sometime. that we found out more about King Deshret. 
we learned that he isn't a bad guy and him and greater Rukudavada actually worked together to save sumaru i am loving this archon quest and i feel like things are about to get even crazier but that is it for today's video make sure you hit that like button subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you in the next video